Hey there everyone, Doug here at the NAB 2023 show floor yet again. We're actually at the B&H studio booth and they've always got some fun stuff going on here. Very interesting, oftentimes custom experimental projects and workflows that you'll see demoed here. This year, and it makes total sense to me because it's really taken off, is virtual production in a volume display like this. I'm sure you've seen a few TV shows. Uh, there's movies now that use this too on a, on a huge scale, but we have essentially an entire custom display here. You can see a, an Unreal Engine rendered background behind me. There's lights all around me that are simulating some of the light that you see from the fire behind me. The way that the lighting is actually really reflected onto a subject, not to mention the parallax that you get when you move the camera against the background is uh, honestly game changing. If I had to guess, it's kind of the biggest deal. Every year you sort of see an emerging technology or something that's kind of hit its stride. I would say we're entering that phase now with this. Uh, and there's a lot of vendors here who are really pushing volume systems and displays. So we'll take a look around and I'll show you how this all works. Even in a dystopian wreck, a director needs their chair. So let's start over here. We're looking at NCAM systems, basically on a very high level, because even I'm still trying to grasp this, you have tracking information that's set up in a 3D virtual space, and that's acquired by a device on the camera that I'll show you in a second. That's all fed through here. There's an image processor workstation uh, down here. The background that you see over here is being rendered out. You can see it on display here. All of it gets fed out to the system over there on the main screen. So most of the heavy computational lifting is done over here uh, before getting sent out to the display. So they've changed things up a little bit behind me. You'll notice it's uh, just a 2D video behind me. It can do that as well. Uh, but one of the cool things for me, I, I love this, is that the video extends based on regions that get selected. It extends into these light panels here. These are actually quasar tubes. The gist of it is that there's a region of the image that gets selected and then conveyed along the lights. This allows you to get actual real illumination on the subject. Oh, we went back. Okay, we are back. Thank you. <laughs> so let's say, for example, you're driving a car. You could have the windows of the car be essentially the light sources where the camera is located and those would cast the surrounding lights. So those could be the light, the street lights. There's actually a few of these lights surrounding me. And the whole point behind this is so that you can get a realistic light source, not just the wraparound from the monitor behind you, but also from actual lights themselves. They actually cast on the subject the way you can see on me. Now this kind of setup doesn't give you that parallax effect that you would see with the Unreal setup where the background moves in relation to the foreground. Uh, there's some extreme examples in some other places in the, on the show floor. This is a more simplistic example. It still gives you a way to have uh, an immersive environment with a much simpler workflow while maintaining these light sources on the side. So just to give you an idea of some of the vendors that we happen to have there who are also on the NAB floor, uh, Row Display Solutions, right behind me, you can see this big screen. Believe it or not, that's actually not quite as big as the one behind it. You can see they specialize in fixed installation displays that are meant to be stitched together, very much the way that we have going on at our booth. One of the most impressive displays you'll find here. It's so much bigger, but it, the principles of it are the same. Basically, they have two people presenting, they're talking as though they were newscasters, uh, and the entire environment around them is rendered in real time, with the exception of the chairs they're sitting in. So the walls, the floor, all change scale and perspective as the camera, which is controlled by a robot arm, moves around them. And while you on the outside can see this change, the resulting image is seamless. I had a feeling this year that virtual production, not just in the remote sense, but in the volume display and system sense, would be a big thing at NAB this year. We're seeing more and more of this in productions and the scale of them uh, can really be something else. Some of the other vendors who you've seen here are also in their own booths. Quasar, for example, has their tools on display. And believe me, there are countless other vendors here who have their own volume displays and lighting solutions. It's really, emerging isn't even the right word anymore. It's, it's definitely an evolving technology that is on the cutting edge. So that's it for this quick walk around the virtual production stage at B&H's NAB 2023 booth. I can't wait to see where this technology goes in the future. I'm Doug with B&H and I'll see you next time.